Uh, morning everybody it's uh, video time now if you are a follower of my channel and I'm very grateful if you do follow my channel and if you want to subscribe there's a subscribe button down below but if you're a follower of my channel you will see that most of my videos are about cycling or about movie reviews occasionally do some other stuff but those are the two main things I make movies about but but before I got into cycling, before I got into making videos, my big love was photography and still pictures. And it still is, uh, still, still is still pictures. I really do like taking uh, still pictures, particularly when I go abroad. I used to have a massive camera collection, used to have one of every Nikon made, used to have a Hasselblad, a number of Leicas, a Roloflex, uh, all kinds of really nice cameras. Anyway, over the years, I sold them all on eBay eBay and now I just have a couple of cameras plus I like to make my videos but one thing that I've always really liked actually there's two things that I've always really liked I've always had a thing about bags not just camera bags but bags in general and when it came to photography I always had a bit of a thing about tripods always like tripods for some reason and I still do so I thought I'd run you through some of those tripods that I still have that I still use that I still like now I did have a number that I no longer have so they won't be in this video for rather obvious reasons one of which was the lights like a tabletop tripod which you may have heard of or you may have seen a beautifully made piece of equipment never really used it very often if I'm honest so I sold it at a vast profit actually I'm not sure I made a profit at all on eBay anyway and the other tripod I had was a little uh, Minox tripod which was about that long about that wide it'd been like a pencil and it was designed for the Minox camera. Do you remember the little Minox cameras that all the spies used to carry? Anyway, I used to have. Anyway, I had one of those and I had the tripod. Lovely little tripod. Never actually used it, I don't think. So I sold that on eBay. But I still have a number of tripods. And let's get right to it. So what's in Julian's box? Well, let's start with this one. This is one of the more recent tripods that I bought and this is by uh, newer which i assume that is a chinese company because a lot of this stuff is now made in china and it's a very it's a very solid quite heavy tripod you give somebody a pretty good whack over the head with it if they annoyed you and um, the legs unscrew not necessarily that easy to unscrew like that and again that one as you can see they can be a little bit tight but as you can see the tripod goes that high i'm just checking to see that the camera lens can accompany uh, can cope with this yes it can and the center column can rise up yes the camera can still cope with that so as you can see you've got a fair old height there with this tripod you've got a very solid very solid um head there and you can see the head moves around like that and it's got one of these removable base plates which you attach to the camera. Uh, I can't really remember how much these tripods were. I think this was about 30 quid. So it's a very nice item. It's strongly made. It's quite heavy. It's quite strong. Um, that one leg... Oh, yeah, just put it back in like that. So as you can see, and if you uh, do something or other, uh, hang on, yes, we do that. You see, you could get it to be even lower down on the table. Just, there we are, like that. Just raise up that bit. Oops, like that. And one of these legs is not the same depth as the other one. But anyway, I think you can get a pretty good idea of that. So, newer uh, table uh, uh, tripod, not exactly a tabletop tripod, not exactly a full-size tripod either. Very nice model, recommended. The next one I'm going to take out of Julian's box is this one. And this is a Manfrotto, or Manfrotto, and very nicely made uh, metal, yes, I think this is metal of some sort. Uh, as you can see, it's very useful for hand holding cameras like that. This push button kind of ball head here, as you can see, moves around 
fairly smoothly but you can't get it to go any further down than that so you can't get the camera to be completely horizontal but apart from that it's nicely made it's strong it fits very nicely in a, a pocket or in a camera bag and you can support a solid weight camera on there so again nice model can't remember the price of it probably about 20 25 quid because man photo items aren't particularly cheap next one is one that i got for christmas from my son joel who's the fellow who i go to see the movies with now this is very similar to the uh, Joby Gorilla Pod, which you're probably familiar with. But I saw this, uh, I think I saw this reviewed on Amazon and saw a couple of uh, videos about it. And I thought it, it looked very interesting. As you can see, these are kind of rubbery, flexible legs and they flex in all kinds of different ways. So imagine it's a bit like an octopus there. Now I partly got this for use with the GoPro, but it'll work with uh, ordinary uh, non-GoPro non type cameras. A little bit squishy there if you had too much of a heavy camera, but a lightweight camera would work quite well. And if you straighten out the legs like this and use it just as a normal tripod, uh, again, perhaps a little bit springy, but for a GoPro or a lightweight camera, that would be fine. And you attach the camera on here, so you've got like a, a ball head. Again, you can't get it quite down to a horizontal level, I think you can see there, but still a nice little unit. Actually not used this yet, but I will be using it hopefully fairly soon. Now, the next one is this little item. Now, this is not quite a tripod. This is made by, oh, can't read that. Uh, uh, Kaiser, yes, Kaiser. Uh, Kaiser Wilhelm, that is. The uh, uh, ruler, ruler, leader, president, ruler, king. I can't remember, Kaiser, anyway, of Germany during the First World War, had a sideline in designing uh, tripod or camera equipment. Now, as you can see, there's a little, I'll just hold that a bit closer because it's fairly small. There's a little kind of ball head type thing there, which you tighten up like that, see, quite solid. Again, that will go right down to a horizontal line like that. This clamp, you can then clamp onto a table or something like that. And some of you are saying, well, that's not a tripod, Junior. Why are you putting it in a review of a tripod? Well, watch, watch and learn, my grasshoppers. I take this rather well, spiky thing out here and I screw it in the bottom there. And look at that. Can you see that? I'll lift that up a bit because it's a little bit, um, a little bit too low for the lens. But if I lift it up a bit, you can see you've got quite a solid tripod surface now again not ideal for a big uh, DSLR or SLR camera but for a fairly small fairly lightweight camera that really works very well and these spikes are very useful uh, should you get attacked late at night somewhere you can take these spikes out and you can do it like that no, that's a joke people you should not do that at all very dangerous anyway it fits into a pocket and when I went, I went on a cycling trip to Spain and I wanted to make a little video. So at the end of the day, when I sat in my hotel room, I just set this up on a chest of drawers or a table like that, put the camera on it, and I was able to shoot my video. So made by uh, Kaiser Wilhelm during the First World War, but a very nice item. I don't know whether it's still made, don't see any reason why it shouldn't be. Made in Germany, as you can see, made in Germany before the war. Um, or possibly after the war. So it was quite cheap. Well, I said quite cheap, but then if I bought it in 1979 and it was, I don't know, £2.59 or something, then inflation has rather changed that price. So anyway, uh, the next one is in here. Is it in here? No, no, those are slightly different tripods. The next one I'm going to show you is this. And oh, 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 that is a big bugger now this is a manfrotto uh it's a manfrotto 190 which may refer to the height i think that can just fit in with the lens now as you can see here 
the lenses kind of unscrew, uh, sorry, the legs unscrew like that, and again like that, and the centre column can rise up. You can't see that, so I'll turn it on its side. Centre column can rise up like that. So this will go, uh, well, I presume it'll go 190 centimetres, which is about what, five feet, a bit more than five feet? Not sure what the uh, difference is between, not difference, I'm not sure what the relationship is between centimetres and inches. Never been very good at that. Now, this, I don't think it came with a tripod head, it may well have done, but this tripod head that I've put on it is a Giotto. Uh, G I O T T O, like the artist, um, who was a, a designer of tripod heads, funnily enough, as well as a painter of frescoes in uh, the um, Church of uh, St. Francis of Assisi in Assisi in Italy. Anyway, um, this is an MH1001, if you're interested. It's got a movable ball head, like that. Can go to. A whole, oh, sorry pulling my box off the, there, uh, can go to a uh, horizontal line like that and oh, sorry, just put that there and it's got this removable plate here I don't quite work out how to do this properly anyway it does, there it is, it does work you take that out you attach the camera to that and you put that back in like that this is a heavy tripod, not what you'd call a travel tripod, but something to use at home with a big old camera, big old video camera, one of the early video cameras probably would work really well on it. So very solid, very strong, um, very heavy, not that practical. The next tripod is one that I've just bought, actually. Uh, again, saw some YouTube uh, reviews, um, and this has got legs that unscrew like that in a number of sections and sorry we should put that in put that in there now this one you turn it upside down like that and oops I'll drop this down you can then raise up this center column so that goes up like that and then you can then raise up this next bit of the column like that. But you can also then, and I think you can see this on the video, use it there. So if you want to um, take some film or take some still pictures of say something that's here, but you want the camera to point downwards, then you can do that. And that is a very useful design thing on it. It's by K and F concept don't know if you can see that there and this has got a bull head on it there which again will allow you to go into complete horizontal mode there is a quick release plate on there which is very nice and this particular leg also unscrews like that you can screw in the ball head on there and that will give you a monopod. So this is a very clever design. Each of these legs can come up like that. So you can get this tripod very low to the ground. So it's a very, it's a very, uh, it's a very clever design. It's about 70 quid, I think, something like that. And it will go, I think it'll go about six feet high, something like that, when everything else is, when everything is stretched out. Sorry, I should have, whoops, just brought that down like that. So it folds up like that. So pretty impressive tripod. Now, I'm going to now show you probably the best tripod ever made which many of you i'm sure have heard of and this is a gitzo and why is it one of the best tripods ever made well it's carbon and it is incredibly lightweight for a tripod that doesn't really tell you how light it is but the legs unscrew 
like that as you can see and this will go about five feet high and still pretty sturdy let me just put all those legs back together like that and the center column can extend if you lift it up like that and I'll drop this back down again so you can see I have on here a Gitso G1155T ball head which is a very nicely made ball head doesn't have a quick release plate on it so if you can see there you attach the camera directly onto there so I have to sort of screw it on like that but it is a beautifully made tripod now these Gitzo tripods I believe they're still made I believe the company is owned by somebody else and it may be Manfotta but don't quote me on that this tripod now is probably about 350 pounds so it is very very expensive but it is very strong it's very lightweight it's beautifully made it's a lovely item now i'm just going to move on because with the gopro i have a couple of tripods that i use with the gopro just looking in julian's box here first of all there's this one now it's a lightweight plastic jobby I'm not sure if you can see that this bit pushes up but it does only push up so if that's on there and you put pressure on there it'll will push that down it's got a gopro attachment on there but it's quite useful if you say we're, we're being a, a vlogger or something like that you're walking around with your gopro attached to the top so it's pretty cheap this i think it's sold quite often with a, a collection of other gopro mounts and stuff like that it's only plastic it's not strong um but quite useful so long as you're aware of its limitations the next one is the GoPro um, model itself, uh, not sure what this is called, but this folds up and then extends like that. And does it extend to? Oh, there seems to be a, something missing from there. What's missing from there? Perhaps I took out a. Uh, not sure. Anyway, that. You then must be something you tighten on the end there that I seem to have removed the, the GoPro screw. Anyway, perhaps if I take it out of there and then I put it in there, I think that's what's happened. Can you see what I'm doing there, guys? So hmm, that isn't going in there. Why isn't that going in there? Hmm. Anyway, I'll put it back in there like that so that's where you put the camera and the design of this is supposed to enable you to um, use the GoPro on its stick like that but without having the stick visible in the picture because you know the very wide GoPro lens usually takes in all the information but you can fold it up like uh, sorry about this bloody thing's falling apart this instant is very expensive and um why is it falling apart like that? Oh sorry, you have to press this blue button. That that goes on there like like embarrassing. Like that goes on there like that, so you can use it as a kind of handheld stick. But if you unscrew this thing here from the bottom and then screw it back in there like that you have a tripod base for the gopro not particularly strong this is plastic so a lightweight unit and this is not cheap this is about 40 quid or something like that maybe even more and i'm not sure it's entirely worth it particularly as i seem to have mislaid that thing thing whatever it is that thing that's supposed to be in there now what is that thing that's supposed to be in there isn't that weird anyway i'll put that to one side and take out the uh, final item and that's 
this item. Now this is a another Chinese make. This is made by Smatry. Smatry. And this is carbon. Very lightweight, very strong. There's a GoPro head on the top there. There's also a right. I'm gonna, sorry, I'm gonna take that off like that. I'm gonna screw that onto where am I gonna screw that onto? Oh God, sorry about this guys. Uh, I'm going to unscrew the lanyard. What a pretty colour there, don't you think? I'm going to unscrew that lanyard. Then I'm going to screw that in there, like that. And then I'm going to unscrew that there, like that. I'm going to unscrew that there, like that. And you have. Okay, lastly, I've swapped over the camera and put it on the Manfrotto little handheld uh, low tripod, little tabletop tripod, so I could show you this one, which is what the camera was on. And this is a Slick, and it's called a Slick Mini Pro V. Now, I used to have two versions of this. I used to have one with a, a standard kind of tripod head on there, and this has got what they call a sort of pan and tilt uh, video head always liked this tripod the legs extend about inch and a half you odd quite that it doesn't extend further than that anyway they extend like that and the center column extends up to this distance but it's very lightweight it's very compact it's very nicely made it's made of uh, plastic although the legs might be uh, metal and it's always been one of my favorite little tripods to carry so i put the little legs in little legs in like that and there is a a su suction cup there so you can do it like that which gives you extra kind of weight now i've used this with some pretty heavy cameras used this with my uh, collection of nikons may even have used it with the hasselblad very nice little model wasn't uh, very expensive uh, probably about 20 quid or so don't know if you can still get it but it's been one of my favorite uh, tripods that I've ever used. So that's been the roundup of my tripods. Hope it hasn't gone on too long for you. Hope you've enjoyed it. And if you like my videos, you can give me a thumbs up. If you don't like my videos, you can give me a thumbs down. And thanks for watching and see you next time.